Hello, my name is Ursula Meehan. I'm a solicitor assisting H4L in attempting to make the court process easier for litigants in persons. I qualified in 2008 and specialise in private family law and general civil litigation. It can be distressing to find yourself in a conflict situation. Such situations often lead to feelings of anger and a sense of unfairness and it is natural therefore to seek justice via the courts. This is often a costly business even as a litigant in person and is time consuming. Often litigants in persons also report that they feel intimidated and find the process rather baffling. I have devised a series of talks to cover the basics which I hope will help your understanding with the court process. The first talk will be on pre-action, the steps you can take from the very outset of a dispute to try and settle the matter amicably. Should this prove not so, then we will also look at devising a pre-action letter of claim to be sent to the other side. The second talk will be on the claim form itself. Accurate completion of this form is essential for the court's requirements and also setting your claim out in detail in what is called the particulars of claim. This needs to be attached to the claim form or sent to the court shortly thereafter. The third talk will be on drafting. Naturally, throughout the court process, you will be required to provide a wealth of information. This is usually requested within a prescribed format. I will therefore look at the more popular forms of document, namely chronology, a witness statement, a statement of case, a position statement or a cost schedule. The fourth talk will be on documentation. Firstly, how to organise your own documents. This is essential for the smooth running of your case, but also how to disclose those documents to the other side and if necessary request documents from the other side. The last talk will be on enforcement. Once the matter has finalised, should the other side not fulfil their obligations within the court order, what, if anything, can you do to enforce that order? As you can see, therefore, the talks are broad and general, but essential tools for anyone who is considering or is embarking upon court proceedings.